Good afternoon, guys. Oh, sorry. So, I'm a little salty right now because I thought I was recording this whole exercise that I just did. Come to find out that I didn't press the record button, so I just worked out in front of a blank screen for nothing. <laughs> but I'm still making a video today, so yeah, I just worked out, so I'm all sweaty, gross. But I'm trying to get this camcorder figured out more so that I can start using this versus my phone. I want to see if the quality is better or worse, do a couple videos, see which I like the most. And I might just switch it up sometimes, like if we're out and about, obviously use my phone more. But if we're at home, use my camera. Sorry, I am hot, trying to catch my breath. Brenna is right behind me, sleeping. We all got, I don't know what it is. Just like scratchy throat, cough, runny nose. Like I've talked in previous videos, it's just like a never ending sickness. I don't know if you can hear it or not. You might hear Coco Melon in the background because Liam's right here watching it. Jordan's napping. The other kids should be coming home from school within the next 10 minutes. So yeah, the kids will be home in 10 minutes. On my quarry today is to organize my desk so I have my workspace back. Coco Melon! <laughs> and keep doing laundry and catching up on laundry because I'm almost there and doing about two loads a day I found is working amazingly for me and the kids we've been doing really good I'm a little frustrated and trying to figure stuff out because my psychiatrist that I see just tested positive for COVID so she's out and they called me today and canceled my appointment because I was supposed to be today and I won't be seen now until January and I just found out the pharmacy that gives me my medications no longer carries my medication so I try to get back a hold of Ohio Guidestone to say hey cancel the prescription you sent there and please try to send it to the other pharmacy I go to it's just been really crazy I am a little discouraged this week because I did my weekly weigh-in and I've been doing amazing. I don't know if I updated you guys, but that's going to be something I'll be talking about somewhat in my vlogs now, is I'm on my weight loss journey from after having seven kids, and I went from being stuck at 226 for about two and a half months, and in a month I lost about 15 pounds. I'm at, was at 212, really close, it was, uh, I think uh, the last time I weighed myself I was 211.8. And I gained about a pound and a half because I am now at 213, like point four, point five, one of the two. And extremely discouraging for me. I don't know if it's because of everything that's been going on with me health-wise or what it could be. Because I still have about a week before my next predicted period because it's been a never-ending game with what's going on with my body there. Since I've had... Uh, Brenna and I was breastfeeding her. I had no bleeding, no health problems at all. Stopped breastfeeding because of my mental health and I needed my medications. And it's been like a constant bleeding and spotting. There's really never a break unless it's like a two to four day break, depending on what my body wants to do these past two months. And we've done everything we could with OB perspective. She said, give it another two months, and if your period doesn't regulate itself and you're still just constantly spotting in between periods, then we'll do further testing. We've There's a whole bunch of other, like the ultrasounds and that show that I do have fibroids. And the way they're blocking, I guess it's a good and a bad thing. They said the way they're blocking, they're going to have to keep monitoring it, doing follow-up ultrasounds to see if they stay the same or if they get any larger to see if they're going to take any kind of action in that. But, yeah, so I don't want to go into full detail on that because this is a public platform and some stuff I do want to keep private. But, yeah, I have a lot of health issues going on now. And I'm just trying to do what I can. I've been working out. I've recently started intermittent fasting. I'm trying to be more mindful of what I'm eating. I know this week I won't be really good with it because it's Thanksgiving week. 
And then this weekend I wasn't too mindful of it, so I'm wondering if that's where that one pound and a half weight gain came from or what it is. But I've been trying to be, be more mindful with eating, eating healthier, making healthier choices, proportioning if I'm eating unhealthy, definitely looking at portion sizes, eating half of or the portion of that portion size. But I just wanted to take you guys along the day, kind of talk and vent a little bit while I have some quiet before the kids get home and it gets chaotic. And I will vlog some more in a little bit. I'm going to let the camera charge some. And I'll get back to you guys once we get down to doing stuff. So kids have been home for about two hours now, and I've got about three loads of laundry done today. I am cooking dinner right now. It looks so good. It smells heavenly. Tonight we are having beef tips and noodles, and I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm in the kitchen. I was just stirring dinner up and figured I'd get back on here. It's about five o'clock right now. Well, 4.30, because it gets dark at 5 now. But I figured we could say hi to the kids, talk for a little bit, and just kind of hang out. I still got to clean off my desk and that, and figure out what I'm going to do with my life for the rest of the day. So let's do this. Say hi, Bob. Hi. How was school today? Good. What are you doing? We were doing cookie math. We cut out words. For cookies, and then we read a t two tour, three tour stories about Thanksgiving, and we did more. That's always fun. What'd you do at school today, Rosalind? All fun. Nothing. You did nothing at school. Absolutely nothing. Okay. He did talk. How do you get a piece of candy? What do we do on our Chromebooks? Playing games. Rosalind, you're supposed to be doing I ready. What? Okay, let's go see the other kids. What? I ready. Don't mind this, it's already a half school mess at this point. Other than the blanket, the slim bucket. Liam is still passed out, he's just super tired. Say hi, Frank. What are you doing? Hey, dear. What's that? Hello. Brenda's over here eating a bottle. What are you doing, Johnny? I'm watching TV. I about ice cream trucks and all that stuff, and I really like blue eggs. We know you like the blue eggs. This is my blue and you did number six, and this is my other J right here, see? Yeah, see, there's my desk. I was telling you I need to clean it. And if I can also do this trick right here.
his passion for jets is out of this world and it just melts my heart. He wants to show you what it does. So you wind it up and it moves by itself. But I'm going to, while they're good and quiet down here for a minute, I'm going to take you guys upstairs. Because I just need quiet for a second. I think Jordan's finally sleeping. Yeah, Jordan's sleeping in bed. Sorry, my room's dark. Open a curtain, get some light in here, and talk to you guys for a second. There we go. There we go. Okay. Well, we still have some daylight. But, I don't know. I'm really just trying my hardest. I feel so defeated anymore, and I just, I've been walking around not knowing what to do. I've had so many routines set. I was doing so amazing, and as of lately, I've just had absolutely zero energy. I don't know what to do. It's turned into, I'm doing the basic bare minimum for myself, and then doing what I can and going above and beyond for my kids to make sure that they're fed, taken care of, bathed, they keep their routines. But mine is just so thrown off and I just want to sleep. All I want to do is sleep and I don't understand where this ungodly tiredness is coming from. The kids are at that age of wanting to be more independent and fighting because of it. And um, Rosalind recently got diagnosed with ADHD and she's been struggling really bad in kindergarten this year. She is finally on medication. We're on week two now, and so far I've heard no complaints from teachers, so I'm hoping we're doing good because she was getting physically aggressive with other students. She was getting mouthy, having meltdowns. The teacher said she couldn't sit still for the life of her. It just it breaks my heart between having all my kids having some kind of special need and, like Jordan, his ADHD is so severe he's so uncomfortable in his skin that it just breaks my heart because he's just constantly pacing he just seems so anxious all the time even with his medicine and then Johnny with his medicine is absolutely amazing and a saint but when he's coming down off of it or on the weekends because he can't have it on the weekends because we had a weight problem with him where he wasn't eating and was losing too much weight but um he's been having anxiety problems. We just started him on anxiety medication. I'm all over the place because I'm about four days now without my medication. And yeah, I guess there's a shortage and our pharmacy stopped altogether selling our medication. So it's, it's been hard I'm trying to see if I can't get a hold of my psychiatrist to get the prescription rewrote and transferred to the other pharmacy. And I feel like I repeat myself a lot because my memory is completely shot because day-to-day uh, -day stuff, I don't know if it's just like mix of mental health being, being a mom and just being exhausted or what. But yeah, I, if I repeat myself a lot, I am sorry. I'm just trying to get everything off my chest, off my mind in a matter of not trying to make a video 50 million minutes long because then nobody wants to sit through it. But I want to get back into vlogging more, especially with having a actual camera that my dad bought me and then me and the kids have been going through and watching all of our old videos I'm sorry I'm looking out the window because lately I've been seeing a lot of crows and to me they're a very good omen like yesterday I saw a whole flock literally a flock like dozens of freaking crows and they were all cawing together and it was just amazing to see but I got off track yay me ADHD but yeah, I want to get back into vlogging. We've been watching them and I'm like, wow, I miss that. Especially like going back into my weight loss journey. This has been extremely hard for me because in high school, I've had an eating disorder. And it's been, I've always struggled with it, especially with pregnancies. Because as my pregnancy went on, I got bigger and bigger and bigger. And now it's 
I'm finally not and never will be again and trying to lose the weight and watch what I eat because I've gotten and picked up some very very bad unhealthy binging habits and I want to use my vlogging as accountability and my family and my friends and all my resources so that I can keep pushing even on the harder days like today like I pushed myself today I really pushed myself today to make sure I'm staying working out consistently at least four times a week because if I don't do it if I only work out one day a week or not at all I'm not gonna do it I will not do it I will not force myself to do it I know they say listen to your body but I know I'm not gonna see the personal results I want to see unless I do something and like with eating and snacking and that like I'm trying to drop habits here and there but not do stuff cold turkey because I know that's how you relap relapse on anything it's just cold turkey so I'm trying to slowly wean myself off of unhealthy foods like switching out regular chips for like baked or like the kettle with no fat at all and then my coffee creamers I've been using like almond milk based or oat milk based and just little things like that and with everyone being sick I still had a back stock of a drawer of my breast milk from when I was breastfeeding and pumping with Brenna and I'm glad I saved it because I was just going to completely let her finish her supply up then switch to formula but I didn't and I'm glad I saved it because her being sick now she is getting all of that milk to help give her antibodies and help her build up her immune system while being sick so hopefully it's a lot shorter of a duration of sickness and she's a not a doesn't get as sick throughout the season because it's supposed to be horrible and it already is horrible so far this year so I've been doing that and she's just been loving it like she missed my milk and it breaks my heart because I'm not exclusively breastfeeding her no more seeing how much she's just downing and like in love with because with formula she'll spit it out or she'll just nurse the bottle like a couple sucks here and there then spit it out and then yeah it's and just watching her down the bottles is out of this world. She is four months now. She's already, she is 16 pounds, 10 ounces. So we're just saying 17 pounds because that was Friday. And it's already Monday. So she's 17 pounds. There's no doubt about it. And she's almost three feet long. She is two feet, six inches. So it's, she's huge. She's my biggest baby out of all of my kids. And it just blows my mind that it, it does. It blows my mind that I've been able to have seven kids. I'm sorry for babbling this. I guess this is just uh, going to be like a catch up vlog of life and updates I haven't been able to do and give because I've just been in a funk and I'm still fighting through this funk and whatever is going on. And I know with winter coming, seasonal depression is going to envelop me with whatever else is going on and I'm just trying to keep pushing so I'm going to look back at these videos on the harder days like you need to do this are you feeling some type of way grab your camera because if I grab my camera and I know I have a to-do list of stuff to do like let's say cleaning the kitchen or doing dishes or starting dinner like doing laundry today getting it put away and folded and all that or just cleaning the house in general or getting exercising that day or if I just need to vent and talk if I can't get a hold of nobody, which that's never been an issue for me. And just show more of my kids' lives, capture more of those moments with them so that I always have them to look back on. But I think I am going to end this off here. If anyone has any other questions, you can feel free to ask. But I'm just going to keep on rambling because I don't have any in-person adult friends no more <laughs> but um that's a lie I've got Danielle and through Facebook I get to talk to Jamie and Brandy but and I've got my mom and my fiance but you guys you know like I'm, I'm around kids 24 7 I even talk like a kid anymore like I don't even just say bathroom I say potty like I've got to go potty and I noticed that I sing a lot with the kids, talking to them and playing with them and interacting with them. And it's because of Miss Rachel. She's amazing. A lot of people get annoyed by her, but I love it and I love what she does personally. Here I am rambling on again. I'm sorry.
<laughs> okay, you guys, I'm going to get back to the kids and I'm going to clean my desk and I am going to try and write down a schedule so that I can hopefully get back into the swing of things and start writing down actual videos so I'm not just blabbering and none of this makes sense because I know I'm going to look back at it and watch it once I'm editing it to post it that I'm like, what is wrong with me? Why am I switching subjects like boom, 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 boom? And I know it's my ADHD and lack of, therefore, medication. But I want to start instilling routines, especially because nighttime is when I seem to have all my energy, which I need to break. And start instilling small steps into morning time and getting my mornings back so I have that quiet time before school or before the kids wake up. And... I can be awake for the day with them, and if they take naps, take naps with them like I used to. And, yeah. And I hopefully will get a lot of fun holiday content, like get ready with me for Thanksgiving, and then there's Christmas coming up. And then vlogging at some of the houses we go to that's family, and showing you guys, hey, you look at this food, look at us, just like look at family together, because that's moments I want to capture and cherish forever. But alright guys, I really need to stop. Talk to you later.